Hello, everybody. Welcome if you're live and welcome to the recording if you're listening later. How was your Thanksgiving? How are you feeling today? Today, we are going to talk about not being guilty after breaking one rule of two during the holidays. Is that what you did? What happened? Were you able to keep everything up, all your goals, or did you just enjoy family, friends, which is normal this time uh, of the year, and just have maybe one dessert that you normally don't have, or maybe that extra glass of wine that you normally don't have either. In any case, my advice today is not to feel guilty about that. Because what happens is that when we feel guilty, we are going to raise our stress level thinking around the subject, and then it's going to become a roller coaster where things are going to get worse. So also, if you broke one rule of two, make sure that you don't give it all away because you broke those rules. So just come back now, right? Especially to get ready for the next round of holidays that are just around the corner, as we know. And I'm going to give you a few tips today that you can also prepare for those. And then I'm also going to talk a little bit about how to clean up your system after this past holiday and how you can do it anytime that you feel that you have overdone it with food and that you want to feel a little bit lighter or feel a little bit healthier because we all feel a little foggy and groggy and funky after if you're not used to eating a little bit of the unhealthy foods, right? So as I was saying before, the way that you clean up your system, I'm just going to give you a very quick tip and that is to take out for a little while, maybe it is a week, maybe it is two weeks, maybe it is a month, whatever you want, is four of the ingredients that cause more inflammation on our body. And those are gluten, dairy, sugar, and alcohol. And yeah, those ingredients are almost everywhere, right? So you have to read ingredients and just be careful. But those are the ones that if you make those changes, you're going to feel it right away. If you cannot do all three, that's okay. Maybe just do one, maybe do two. Do what you can. But at least if you want to feel lighter, if you want to feel healthier, and right now you have a little bit of a sense of losing track after the holiday, that's the first thing that you want to do. And as I was saying before, don't get in your mind those thoughts of, oh my God, I'm going to stop. This is going to be awful. But just continue coming back to your nutrition. Come back to yummy foods that are healthy, that are whole food, whole foods, and that are wholesome, as opposed to just Ah, it's December, holidays are coming, I'm just going to let it go until the next year. Because then that's when the accumulation of pounds starts and it's a little harder, right, to um, get it off later. So I write an article every month for a local magazine and I thought that it would be great to share with you what I brought uh, for last month in preparation for the holidays. The name of the article is Healthy Happy Holidays. And I think I have some interesting tips here for you in order to prepare for the next few holidays coming up at the end of the month. So I'm going to start talking about adjust your plan as needed. And what does that mean? Um, And I always give this tip to my clients when they start working with me. If you want to see how your body is responding to exercise or to healthy nutrition, the best way to check on that is to try on clothes that maybe were feeding you a little bit tight. So I always ask not to wear them, but just try them on every two weeks and see what's happening. So in your case, if you're enjoying the holiday, try on some clothes that are usually a little tight. And if they are feeling a snack, you know that you might want to adjust that a little bit, right? So you can still wear those beautiful clothes that you like to wear often. Bake healthier. So if you are baking, there are a lot of healthy alternatives right now that you can use. There are almond flours. There are uh, ghee. I don't know if you're familiar with ghee, but ghee is clarified butter. So it's a healthy kind of butter that you can use for baking or for cooking. You can also use maple syrup and honey. Those are the sweeteners that I usually recommend. We actually keep those during our cleans that I facilitate a couple of times a year. Our next one is in January during our quantum program. So you can use a little bit of maple syrup, a little bit of honey, and that's going to be okay. 
and dairy, dairy free, excuse me, milk products as much as possible, especially if you're dairy sensitive. If not, you can use some organic kind or goat milks, but I strongly recommend if you have sensitivity to use almond milk, oat milks, hen milks, coconut milks. There's so many kinds of milk right now that we can pick from, right? And that is still are awesome for baking. All right, next tip, boost your immunity. So eating enough fruits and vegetables is gonna help boost your immunity. Enough vitamin C these days. This is very important, especially if you're gonna be with people that you haven't been in a while, right? During the, during the holidays, maybe you did in Thanksgiving. Now you're gonna get together with them again during Christmas if you celebrate or New Year's. And vitamin C, as you know, is coming from citrus. So if you can have, I always recommend to start the day with a glass of water with lemon juice. Some people have told me in the past, yeah, but lemon is acidic. It's interesting. It can be, and it's an acidic fruit, but when it comes into your system, the way that it actually makes it is more alkaline, which is healthy for you. So it's very interesting that being an acidic fruit, it actually makes your body alkaline. And that's why you want to have some more of those citrus. If you like tangerines, right now are wonderful. I just got a, a beautiful bunch at the farmer's market. Um, grapefruit. I love to put grapefruit in the salads. And oranges and limes. I like to drink Pellegrino with a little bit of lime and a little bit of mint. And it looks almost like a cocktail and it tastes as a cocktail. So enjoying that variety of uh, foods that you can get vitamin C from. All right, next one is going to be eat mindfully. What do I mean with that? So just a few concrete things on this. Pick the small plate. You know how sometimes you have the choice and if you're very hungry, you're going to go for the bigger plate, right? So if there's a choice of a small one, grab that one and just, yep, fill it up. Flavor deeply. So just really chew the food while you are eating. Sometimes when we are in social events, it's hard to do that because we are talking, we are in conversation at the same time that we are eating and that mindful eating actually kind of gets lost. But as much as possible, just flavor your food, eat it slowly. And then if that small plate didn't satisfy you, go back and get seconds. But at least you won't be getting seconds with the big plate, right? It will be with the small one. And then another big tip, I think this is a big one actually, your body will know if it's satisfied or not after 10 minutes of eating. So just wait, finish the conversation with that person, wait for 10 minutes. If you are still hungry, have more. If you're not, which there's a big chance, just leave a little bit of room for dessert if that's what you wish. Give to others. This is a big one as well, I think, because sometimes during the holidays, and we talked about this last week, um, we give too much, right? And we don't practice self-care because we are so wanting to please others. This is the time of giving, and we even give ourselves to the detriment of our own health and our own self-care. So just make sure that you're giving to others by sharing and connected, but, uh, but and connecting, excuse me, but that you are making sure that you are also taking care of yourself at the same time. Very important. And in line with that one is prioritizing your self-care. So if you usually every month get a massage, if you're used to every week go for a walk, if you're used to do some things that are habits that you have created for yourself, if you meditate every day, if you do things for yourself that are um, self-care, that are making you feel good constantly, try not to stop them during the holidays. Try to find that time, even if it's for a shorter period of time, that you can at least do them. So they continue making you feel good, even during the time that will be a little bit more stressful and you will need it more. Next one is stay hydrated. Well, that's a good one too. We are 60% water. So just make sure that you keep that healthy percentage of water in your system by drinking a lot of water. If you're drinking alcohol, and this is a, a good trick, I think, as well, drink a, a little bit of water, a glass of water in between drinks. 
That way you are not going to be consuming as much alcohol and you are also continue to hydrate yourself. Turn exercise into fun. And you know, a lot of people think that I have it easy, that I enjoy exercise. I'll be honest with you. I don't, for the most part, like exercising. I like dancing. I like playing tennis. I like some kind of exercise. And I like what exercise does to my body. And that's why I enjoy doing it. But for the most part, I'm not a huge exerciser. And that's why I like to find workouts that are interesting for my clients, that makes them want to come back and make them laugh. I make laugh, uh, you know, fun of myself sometimes when I work out just so I can continue doing it. So just find something that exercise can be an enjoyable experience for you. And as you know, I do recommend strength training because I think it's the best and most beneficial way for you to get in shape. But if you like other activities, go for them as long as they are safe. Just make sure that your joints, just make sure that your form, just make sure that the safety piece is always one that you want to keep in place. Everything that you do can be still mindful, even if it's fast speed, right? Which is not my specialty. But if that's what you like, I always think that you can commit to what you like. And if you are not enjoying it, you are not going to do it. And then the last one is a live a guilt uh, life. So have a guilt-free life, which is our title for today, right? No guilt. Or if you break one rule or two here and there, we are humans. I think imperfections are beautiful and that's what makes us be who we are. And if once in a while, you know, you're doing something that just doesn't feel good because that's not the way that you behave or that's not the way that you eat or that's not the way that you exercise, don't worry about it. Just continue to um, keep the goals for yourself that you want to have later without having to feel that heavy heaviness, you know, that guilt brings. Just let go and move forward with joy and with those fun exercises that you're going to, I know, figure out for yourself. So I want to invite you. I'll have a lot more information about this and more on my quantum webinar. This is going to be next Wednesday at 9 a.m. It'll be live. And you just simply have to go to my website, mindfulonlinegym.com, and just click on our schedule and sign up for our quantum webinar. Our quantum is our challenge starting in January, where we are actually going to help people clean up from the holidays and from the year and start the new year super strong, super healthy, trying to do the things that help us really lose fat, build strength, increase your bone density, which is going to make you even healthier. And as I have talked about in previous episodes, um, all those amazing benefits that we get from exercise are not just physical, but also we get some benefits for our brain, which makes us feel more focused, which increases our productivity, our energy, and makes us feel so much better than when we have a sedentary life. So come on, join our quantum webinar. And also on our schedule, you're going to find a quite interesting offer of free workouts this month. Yesterday was Giving Tuesday. This month is my birthday month. And even though it's not until the end, I'm feeling very generous. So I am actually giving three free workouts that you can join during the month, try it out, and then learn if this is something that works for you for the future moving forward and if we are a good fit to work together. I would love to see you there. One last thing, if you are not about groups and you prefer private work, I also do that and it's one of my favorite things. And I can meet you for a complimentary getting shape strategy session. During this session, we're going to figure out what is the main struggle that you're dealing with. I'm going to give you at least one tip that you can move forward into that optimum health that I know that you want. And then also we will decide if we are a good fit to work together. I thought this was a good idea to bring because I know that some people have been living in a little bit of a fog this week after the holiday just to clean up the fog. Make sure that you pick one of the suggestions that I have for you today and it's going to make a big difference. And I hope to see you soon again in one of my webinars or in one of my free classes. Thank you for listening. Have a wonderful day.